Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. It's New Year's Eve, it's time to close out 2018, move into 2019, and of course you know what that means, top fives. Everybody's going to be doing their top fives, and we're no exception, so here's our top five. We're going to do ours a little differently. It's going to be pistols like we typically do. Unfortunately, this guy's not going to make the cut because we haven't had a chance to review it yet, but this will be possible in the 2019 and year-end reviews. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about three different sections of top fives because it's always been difficult to figure out should the top five be the best concealed carry guns, should they be the best range guns. So we're going to kind of break it up. So after you see the first number one, don't go away, there's more coming. The first group we're going to do is top five shooting, just fun to shoot, guns we enjoy taking to the range. Now this guy was definitely fun to shoot and fun to take to the range. Unfortunately, you know, look for him next year. So let me take this away and start up with our top five. Coming in at number five is the Springfield XDM 4.5, chambered in 10 millimeter. This made our list in number five because it's very comfortable, it's ergonomic and comfortable just like all the other XDMs, has replaceable back straps. It's got a very nice trigger. It's good to good recoil management just like all of the XDMs. They handle recoil even 40 very well and there's no exception for the 10 millimeter. And it's, we found it very easy to shoot well. So here we have number five. Moving on to number four. We have the Colt Delta Elite, which of course is chambered in 10 millimeter. This managed to score the number four spot, number one, because it's just a very nice looking gun. Look at the grips, the wraparound grips, the whole stainless appearance. It's just overall a nice gun. It's got that nice, crisp, mechanical feel. You feel the slide move. Everything about a 1911 that makes a 1911 fun to shoot. And surprisingly, for being an all-steel gun, it's heavy enough to manage the recoil of 10 millimeter. Found it to be quite reliable and really nice sights. So there's number four, the Colt Delta Elite. Coming in at number three is the Glock 19X, chambered in 9 millimeter. The 19X is a departure for Glock from a lot of things that Glock has always done. Number one, it's not black. And not only is it in, a, in the desert tan color that they've got it in, it's very well done. It looks nice. It blends well. It's overall just a nice looking gun, which is not something that's frequently said about Glock. Being built on the Glock 19 platform, but with a 17 grip, makes it an excellent range gun. You're even a competition gun. It's real fun to shoot. Controls recoil. It's easy to get a hold of and it's easy to shoot it very well. Overall, it's just kind of something unique coming from Glock. Moving on to number two, we have the PPQ SC, which is chambered in nine millimeter. And of course, we've been asking Walther for a subcompact version of the PPQ forever. They finally came through with it, and they really did do it right. If I were to just cover up the grip and look at it, you'd almost think it was just a regular PPQ. It's got the same ergonomics. It has that same wonderful Walther trigger. Real crisp, real nice, short reset. It's got very nice three-dot sights. 
So they've did a very, very good job of miniaturizing the PPQ and not losing any of the functionality, the ergonomics, or the other things that made the PPQ a nice gun to shoot. And of course we did a thousand round test with this one and had you know, flawless performance. And that actually was a 2000 round test with flawless performance. And after shooting it for 2000 rounds, we still like shooting it. Moving on to number one, we have this Rock Island Armory 22 TCM 9mm convertible. This gun shoots their 22 TCM round, which is a very potent 22 caliber round. It's almost like a mini rifle round. It also can shoot 9mm with the conversion barrel, which this one came with a kit with the conversion barrel. Overall, it was a lot of fun to shoot. It's a range stopper. You pull the trigger on this thing and it makes a bang like you lit off a 454 and a massive fireball. First time we took this to the range, when we emptied the mag, turned around, the whole range was behind us wanting to know what this thing was. So from a fun to shoot standpoint, it, it really hits all the things. No recoil, it proved to be reliable, relatively easy to shoot well, and just a lot of fun to have. Not necessarily the most practical thing on the planet, but it definitely would be a fun one to add to your collection for a great range day. So number one, a really fun gun, the Rock Island Armory 22 TCM 1911. Before we move into the next section, I want to just mention that we'll put links to the full reviews to everything that we've shown so that if you're interested in one you want to get more details because we kind of just went over high level, you can go look at the full review. The next section is going to be guns that impressed us in some way. Something about them made them unique, made them interesting. And this would have the potential to be one next year, but unfortunately this guy's not going to make it this year because like the AK-47, we haven't had a chance to review this. So let me set that aside and get out number five in the ones that impressed us in some way. So here's number five. I've got the Smith & Wesson Governor. So what impressed us about this? Well, one thing, it's just cool to look at. A huge cylinder. We did add this grip to it, but the black frame, the uh, chrome muzzle, it just makes it just actually stainless and just looks nice. It shoots three different calibers. You can shoot 410, you can shoot 45 long colt, and you can shoot 45 ACP with moon clips that it comes with. Unlike a lot of revolvers, it's actually got a useful front sight and it's a gutter sight at the back, but it's actually a very useful gutter. You can actually aim this thing, which, you know, with a 45 ACP and the 45 long hole would be something you would do. And, of course, it has a very nice trigger. So number five in guns that impressed us in some way, the Smith & Wesson Governor. Moving forward to number four, we've got the Shield. M2.0 chambered in 9mm. So what's impressive about this? Well one thing is, is if you had told me that I was going to buy a shield I'd have left a very very long time before I finally told you I wouldn't be caught dead with a shield. They've really significantly improved it. If we had a category for most improved, this would win most improved. It's got a nice trigger. It's got nice ergonomics. The slide when you operate it is nice and smooth. All the things that the original Shield wasn't, the Shield 2.0 is. Really nice three-dot sights. So what's happened with this is they've taken a gun that I, that I wouldn't have even considered and turned it into a gun that I would definitely use for a, a very deep concealed concealed carry, a backup gun, something like that. So got to say kudos to uh, Smith & Wesson for vastly improving the shield. Now, move on to number three, and you've seen this critter before. The Glock 19X chambered in 9mm.
one of the things that we had considered excluding guns that we had already shown in the previous list, and then we got talking about it and realized there may be reasons why one is on both. It's fun to shoot, and there's something impressive about it. So they, you may be able to see one in more than one category. And the Glock 19X is one of them. What's impressive about this is one of the things is it started out as a Glock I didn't want. Looked at it when it first came out, and so that's just so I've seen that before. It's just going to be a different color Glock. You've seen the XDM and a combination similar to this. So what's too impressive about it? Till we picked it up, we handled it, we took it to the range, and really, really liked it. Found that they'd done things like you know the night sights being fairly standard on all of them. So it's really easy to get these in night sights. Yes, you can get regular Glocks with night sights, but they're real difficult to find. Steel sights, which people have wanted for a long time. The coloration done very, very well, very smooth. It's got that same smooth finish as the black ones. So once I actually had one in my hand and then actually got some time behind the trigger, found out that this is actually a really fun gun to have and a very well gun done. Might not be the best for concealed carry. There may be better options for concealed carry, but for everything else you might want to do with it, this really impressed us for that reason. Moving on to the number three is another gun you saw before. The XDM 4.5 chambered in 10 millimeter. The Springfield XDM in 10mm, what impressed us about this? Well, there's a few things. One of them is that it's not any bigger than the 9mm or the 40. And many other manufacturers, including Glock, the gun gets fatter, heavier, wider, thicker. Overall, just a bigger gun for 10mm. The other thing that they didn't do is they didn't lose any of the ergonomics. You still have the back straps. You have the excellent trigger of any other XDM. So what you've got now is a gun that if you've got an XDM in 9 or 40 and you pick up the 10mm, it's the same gun from operating it, handling it, and using it. So they really did an excellent job of upgrading into the 10 millimeter category without messing up the gun or removing anything that you really want. And they've even added in their later models that bright front sight, that fiber optic front sight. So now let's move on to number one. And in number one, we've got the PPQ SC by Walther chambered in nine millimeter. The thing that's impressive about this, number one, is that they actually pulled it off. You've got that same exact PPQ trigger. Nice, crisp, short break, real quick, crisp, short reset. All the ergonomics of a PPQ, front serrations, back serrations, rail, nice three-dot sights, in a package that's simply smaller. They didn't lose anything in the translation. Other than that you did lose the back straps, I would say that's a, the interchangeable back straps loss of that is a negative. Beyond that, you've got everything that you would get in a full-size PPQ. The same reliability, the same feature set, the same ergonomics and comfort, and the same reliability in a much smaller, lighter package that allows you to do concealed carry with your PPQ SC, you know, for deep conceal, moving to, you know, a larger PPQ for nightstand, transitioning back and forth and getting that same operation. This is a way, actually, well done conversion from large to small by Walther. last section we've got is actually you guys picking them and the way that worked is we took all of the videos that we released for handgun reviews in 2018 and we you know normalized them and annualized them so that you know one that was recently released had the same chance as one that had been out for a year and did it solely based on the ones that you guys were the most interested in and you probably also noticed uh, you know in the each section here I'm teasing one that's coming in an upcoming review this we haven't done a review on yet, this car CW380 in Cryptek pattern. So it's not going to be in the list, but it's kind of cool to look at. You can look forward to a review on this in the future. And look how small the thing is. So let's go on to the list of ones that you guys picked. And it starts out with the P99C.
So this Walther P99C AF was the fifth most watched video of a handgun review we did and there seemed to be a lot of interest in it. These are a little bit hard to get a hold of. They've kind of been phased out almost by Walther. You can still get them, they're still on their site, but the P90 or the PPQSC and others seem to be you know, pushing this gun to the side. But there's a lot to like about this. Paddle release, that actually works quite well. Really nice trigger, nice sights, everything you would come to expect. Basically, you've got the predecessor to the PPQ here. Number four, is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield chambered in 9mm. There's a lot about this. A lot of people like us wouldn't have considered a shield. Now suddenly you're finding that they've upped the game. You see a lot of positive reviews on it. And this has actually been quite a popular, not just in our videos, but in overall sales. This here has really stepped up the game for Smith & Wesson in the M&P series. So let's move along to number three. Now this one came as a bit of a surprise to me. The Glock 36 chambered in 45 Auto. Basically, this thing is a single stack 45 by Glock, a little bit more compact than their other 45s, and it's a nice gun. I don't have any reason to believe it wouldn't be a popular one, but there was a lot of interest in this. It was our third most popular handgun review, and overall, it's just a nice little gun, a little bit thinner than the typical Glock you know, 45, single stack, even though with the Glock magazines it's kind of a single stack-ish you get this fatter body and then the narrow tip but overall and actually an interesting gun and a lot of fun to shoot by Glock moving along to number two the XDM 4.5 by Springfield Armory chambered in 10 millimeter This is the only gun that's actually featured in all three of our little lists. Both the two by our choice and then the third one by your choice. Coming in at number two in the most popular pistol reviews we've done, the XDM in 10mm has been long awaited. The 10mm is making a resurgence. Everybody's starting to really realize what that round is capable of. And Springfield has brought an entry into that field that is really, really well done and I expect this one to compete solidly with Glock for the 10 millimeter. And then move to number one, which is the CZ-75 Compact, chambered in nine millimeter. This video turned out to be very popular. There's been a lot of interest in this gun, despite the fact that it's kind of an older school gun, you know, DASA, and you know metal frame gun it's a nice compact it is relatively small it's a little bit heavier because it's all metal a lot of fun to shoot at the range really really nice trigger nice three dot sights so overall it's a good choice and i know cz's are quite popular for a number of reasons you know, you know their functionality their reliability this one here is the one that you guys seem to take the most interest in overall seems even the cat enjoys shooting this one. So there we are. Those are our top fives of 2018. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. If you do, click that bell so you get notified. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon, and have a great day. Thank you.